seven year old Tyler and three year old Charlie, the Darlington community in utter disbelief tonight. For them, those who knew her, those who knew these kids, they say this just does not make sense. Brandy described as a loving mother in person. The kids described as tender hearted and sweet. A neighbor Cecil recalling seeing them almost every day, always keeping their favorite treat in hand, ready to greet them. Popsicles. Every morning. Every morning I can get a hug and kiss off both of them every morning. Have during the summer. I tell you, it, was, it broke our heart when we found out about it this morning. I know where they've gone, so that's what pays. You know, God's got them, loving them now. And that man, Cecil, the thing is, he also spoke very well of Brandy, too. He shared a lot of memories with us, and so we're going to share them with you as well because he showed us this picture, and we wanted to show you as well. This is a cake that he said Brandy actually made for him. He also says that Brandy made the wedding anniversary cake for him and his wife, and in turn, he showed us this card. This is the birthday card that he helped young Tyler and young Charlie make for their mom, Brandy. This entire community, obviously very close. So it just goes to show that tonight it does not make sense to a lot of those members, especially those individuals like Cecil. Now we do know that Brandy and her husband had been separated and her husband had filed for divorce this week. Still the Darlington community trying to cope with the we don't we also know that they're going to gather tomorrow to kind of talk about this and go over it. They're going to be gathered at the Congressional Christian Church in Darlington and they're going to dedicate a service to remembering Tyler and Charlie. We'll keep you updated on the story, but for right now I'll send it on back to you at the desk. It is so heartbreaking and hard to understand and we took the concern over a shocking discovery like this one to a mental health counselor to get a better perspective on how to handle these types of situations. Since this tragic event involves young children, he says it's okay to answer your kids' questions, but avoid saying too much or using harsh language. You might want to say words differently. You probably don't want to use the words they were stabbed or murdered, even though that's technically correct, but when you're young, you don't understand those words, so you could say they were hurt and they died. And Richardson also says, while something like this may be scary, community members should look to each other for comfort during this time rather than speculating or jumping to conclusions. The North Montgomery School District sending a letter to parents today to help them, saying your student may arrive home this afternoon with questions and worries about these losses. You can help by simply talking, listening, and reassuring them. Tyler was a student at Sugar Creek Elementary. Now